You know, every time I have a joint in my mouth and I say, what you making high to everybody on this earth? Yeah, man, I tell you, I don't even feel smoking like weed today. Oh, man, I had smoke out. Man, I'll just tell you what I did today. Why you look sad that you're making, see? See, I've been going to this bar and buying this lady drinks all the time. And she turned around, she goes, Gringo, come up to my place Sunday and, and I'll have you free food at the bar. And I said, sure, man. I went up there and I was hungry. After swimming in the Caribbean Sea, uh, you know, I went down there like a dumb fool, thinking I was only going to spend like $10. I had some breakfast, so we had pork and uh, breadfruit. That was some good stuff the way she cooked it. Some yam. So I ate good and uh, I turned around and bought her a drink and bought her sister a drink. So I, that, that cost me the money for the food. So I, I felt like, okay, no problem. And then I, I later on I says, uh, do you know what you told me? I could have anything I want to eat today. And she goes, yeah. And I says, well, I had pork. I said, I want some curry later on. And I said, it's going to be free, right? You already promised me. And she goes, yeah. So while I was waiting around smoking a joint, two, two policemen I've never seen before. They, they remind me of the Mexican police, just like the Mexican police, just dressed up exactly like them with machine guns, guns, a knife, you name it. They had a knife strapped here, you know, pistol here, and, you know, uh, I don't know what, AK-47, I don't know what the fuck he had on his shoulder. Some type of machine gun, same like, sponsored by the United States taxpayers' dollars, like in Mexico, believe it or not. And, uh, they come walking towards me, and I thought, oh, fuck, man the fuck's going on? One approaches me and I said, can I buy you a drink? And he goes, well, I don't drink on the job. And I said, well, let me buy you water. And he says, yeah, okay, I'll buy you water. And uh, another cop passes by and I said, I'll buy you a drink. And he goes, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. So I bought the other cop a drink. And uh, I had a spliff in my mouth. And he says, what do you got in your mouth? I said, marijuana? What the hell you think I got in my mouth? And he he looked at me, he goes, uh, well, you got any gum? I said, yeah, I do have some gum my friend gave to me today. And he goes, well, where's it at? I said, why, are you going to arrest me if I show it to you? He goes, no, I'm not going to arrest you. So I showed him the gum, and they all laughed at me. Ha, 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 ha. I said, what's so funny? And his other friend goes, here, here, just take this back. I got a bigger roll. And he starts digging everywhere. Going in here, going in his pockets. Because, hell, I don't even know what I, I probably just left it at home. This other officer, the police officer, goes, he goes, yeah, he has a big old huge roll of gum he would give to you. I said, what? I said, man, I want that from you. Hell, I'll even give you money for it. But I don't want you to lose your job or you arrest me for buying drugs from you. Oh, no, no, no problem. And one of the cops looked at me and he goes, Hey, are you the one everybody's calling Mexican? Yeah, why? I just heard a lot about you. I said, but you're going to hear a lot more about me in the future, too. So I'm glad you heard about me now. I got to meet you before you got to meet me another way. He said, no, no problem, gringo. Everything's all right. I just laughed. When the police took off, I was going videotaping. Well, the gum, well, the gum got confiscated. Yeah, they confiscated the gum. They lied to me. Well, one of the cops confiscated it inside his lungs. Yeah, I put it, put the gum ball, little black ball, inside the vaporizer pen. And he, he smokes all of it. He takes like about 10 hits off this big old ball of gum. And he just goes, he goes, this is the way to smoke this shit. And other cops looking at him, he goes, really? And this police officer goes, man, he goes, 
That is some badass shit. I says, well, can I see you guys next weekend? And I said, I'll be here next Saturday, Sunday, man. I don't want you guys to be in uniform. We're going to go party with that other ball of gum. And they all looked at me. Yeah, yeah, we'll be here. I said, okay, see you guys later. It was a rush. Yeah, I had the joint in my mouth. And one of the cops reached over and, and, and tried to light it for me. Yeah, he goes, go ahead and light it up, gringo. Don't go ahead. I said, you're going to arrest me as soon as you light that joint up. He goes, no, nah, man. I said, okay. And I took my lighter and lit it up. It was a blast, people. And they weren't from Anato Bay. They're from a, the major city of Control St. Mary. Yeah, they were the big police. They were the state police, it looked like. Yeah, the big boys. And they know me. I said, fucking, how far is they away? And this is all about... 24 minute drive, you know, down the road. I said, they're fucking a long ways away. That's that other major city. And says, yeah, that's where the major police station's at. And I says, they know me already as the Mexican? I said, shit, man, that's going a little too fast for the police to know me and who I am. I said, that, that would spread faster than what I thought it would be. Of course, uh, that's what happens everywhere where I live at, okay? Even in Mexico, man. It's just that white man spreads fast. It spreads even faster around the black people. Trust me, I'm the only white person in Nato Bay right now. I haven't seen nobody white yet. The tourists drive by, yeah. No, no one been walking down the street yet. So, that's my... Well, I got my clothes on. Yeah, I had to put my clothes on. I couldn't walk around naked like I was in my last video. <laughs> Hope you like my little white ass in my last video. Well, love each other like the jazz the fires do to have peace on this earth. <laughs> what a day. Well... The whole day cost me after buying the police officers drinks. Uh, the women in the bar, the, the owner of the bar for my free meal, and her sister drinks, and and the 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 chef that cooks for the prisoners. I had to buy her a drink, of course, and I had to give her a kiss, which she didn't give me a kiss, so she's not going to be my wife. And uh, yeah, costing me about. 2,500 Jamaican dollars. I don't know how I'm going to survive. Yeah, I got a couple of days before I can get some money. And yeah, I'm going to be eating underneath the tree again. Well, this is the Hippie Terrorist and signing off to everybody. Well, I already said that about 500 videos ago. Shit, man, I, I got to change my attitude. Well, I hope you just enjoy everything in life I make for you. Because I want to educate you. Hey! Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. The guy that gave me the... I want, I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this story. Uh, I, I, I'm going to keep... You won't see who it is. All right? Hey, you know that ball of gum you gave me? The police confiscated it today. Yeah, they, they, they walked up to me and they said... You got a marijuana joint in your mouth? Yeah. And I said, yeah, and uh, they said, you got any gum on you? I said, yeah, I got a little bit of gum somebody gave to me. And then they says, let me see it. I said, why are you going to confiscate it? Yeah. I said, let me see it. So I handed it to him. Yeah. One cop looked at it, he laughed. He handed it to another cop. Yeah. The other cop laughed, and they handed it back to me. And I, I said, what's so funny? This is. Man, that's a little bit small piece of gun you got. Hell, we got one bigger than that. And I said, how big? He was about the size of my hand. Yeah. And, and he looks around, he's checking all his pockets, and he goes, shit, I don't know what happened to it, man. Yeah. And he, and he goes, man, I probably left it. And the cops go, we'll give it to you when we see you next time. Well, you know what the cop did? I stuck it in that vaporizer pen. Yeah. That cop smoked it, man. The fucking police from that other town, the St. Mary or whatever. Oh, oh. Yeah, the big oh, police. Yeah. yeah. The state police, you yeah, know, yeah. with the machine guns yeah, in. Yeah. He turned around and smoked that ball of gum. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was fucking going, hell, this is the way to smoke this goddamn gum. Yeah. And then it comes, are you liking it? And this guy goes, man, I feel blacking out almost, man. <laughs> <laughs>
Tell me some people that smoke your gum drink. Oh, oh, we, what did we get this morning? The bag of weed that yeah, we Yeah, it this was morning. good. Oh, I enjoyed it, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was some good tasting stuff. Oh. Yeah. You know what? I you like it. You got a lighter, Dingo? No, yeah, I got a lighter, yeah. You know what? I turned around and uh, that uh, that other stuff your friend had, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that too. You like it though? Yeah, that was some good stuff. Oh. But I'm going to talk to you later, you know, about that. <laughs> yeah, that's some good sticky shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am great, you know. <laughs> I mean, me give him, me, I give him few plants like right. the one in the bag right. and, and implant, implant uh, them. Really up, up there? there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> See you guys. I just wanted to make them laugh for the day. <laughs>